What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you stopping by, spending a few minutes of your time here with me tonight for part two of Smart Money Needs a Sucker. Okay? We do not want to be the sucker on the other side of the smart money trade, right? We want to trade alongside with smart money. But we won't be able to do that unless we're able to recognize certain things taking place on the day of the opportunity, okay? And in order, in order to do that, we need to know exactly when and what we're looking for, all right? So in the last video, we talked about trade setups, asymmetrical risk to reward setups, ACB or ain't coming back trade setups that trade from one extreme of the range to the other. So from the low straight to the high or from the high straight to the low. And the reason why this is happening is because there are traders trapped at one end of the range, okay? And smart money is in the business of taking money from the many and putting it into the accounts of the few. And this is how they're taking money, okay? This is exactly how they're taking money, trapping traders into a bad position and then running the market against them immediately, all right? So when we're looking for traders trapped in the market or trapped volume, as Stacey Burke calls it, I am looking specifically between the hours of 9.30 a.m. New York time to 11 o'clock in the morning. If the trade doesn't take place within this window, I'm not going to take the trade, okay? If it happens at 8 o'clock, I'm not going to take the trade. If it happens at 6 a.m., I'm not going to take the trade. If it happens at 3 a.m., I'm not going to take the trade. I'm not even going to be at the screen, okay? I'm looking for this setup in the New York Open, okay? 9.30 to 11 a.m. and typically the trade will take place within the first hour or so if it's going to happen right um, and there and it's a it's a specific setup that we're looking for when it happens at 10 or 11 o'clock right but a lot of the times it'll happen between 9 30 and 10 30 we'll get a stop hunt in one direction okay and then a trade also so we're looking for this to happen between 9.30 and 11 a.m. We're also looking for it to happen at or into the high of the week or low of the week level or the high of the day, low of the day level, okay? So that is when we're looking for it. We're looking for these setups between 9.30 and 11 at or trading into one of these levels, all right? Now, what? are we looking for? We discussed when we're looking for it. Now, what are we looking for? It's simple. We're looking for M's and W's patterns, M's and W's at or into one of these levels, the high of the week, low of the week, high of the day, low of the day. Okay. We're looking for M's at the high of the day or the high of the week and W's at the low of the week or low of the day. Right. The reason why we're looking for these patterns, all right, is because if we're on a one minute time frame, for example, and we're at the high of the day and we get an M formation at the high of the day, what that M is on a higher time frame is an engulfment. And what is an engulfment? Here is an example of an engulfment. You can see the highlighted green candle, right? And you can see how that candle explodes and completely overshadows the last eight candles before it, all right? It completely engulfs all of that previous price action, okay? That is an engulfment. Now, a key thing to understand is when we're looking at the one-minute charts, 
oftentimes the engulfment is more than just one candle, all right? Because we're looking at such a small time frame that the engulfment, we may, we may see a small engulfment, right? But really, it's usually a part of a larger engulfment. And we're going to take a look at that right now. Now, here is an example of this, okay? So the engulfment on this chart is not or does not consist of just one green candle, okay? It is this series of, you know, 10 or 12 green candles that engulfs all of that price action to the left, okay? All of those red candles. Those red candles are traders shorting the market, okay? There are traders shorting the market at this level, which just so happens to be the low of the day, okay? So we have traders shorting the market into the low of the day, and then the engulfment takes place. Now, if we were looking at like a 15-minute time frame or a 5-minute time frame, this engulfment would become much clearer. But because we're on a 1-minute time frame, okay, there's a lot more going on. We get to see a lot more details. And oftentimes, which we will see when I zoom out on this chart, when we see this engulfment here, this is a small engulfment on the one minute time frame. This is a small pattern. The W, it's a small W inside of a larger W. Okay? So it's a pattern inside of a pattern. And this is the entrapment of other time frame traders at the low of the day, okay? That's exactly what an engulfment is, okay? We have all of these traders shorting the market with these red candles. And then those red candles are completely taken over, right? We trade up and past that. Boom! That traps traders in. There's no hope for them, okay? If they shorted this into the low of the day, there is no hope for them getting out of this trade at break even or with a small loss. The market is going against them and going against them very quickly with a purpose. So here is the first and smallest W pattern. This is a um, pattern at the low of the day inside of another pattern. Here is the larger W that that first smaller W exists within. Okay, so that is the pattern within a pattern. All right, and notice that this price action is below the previous day's low of the day level. And here is the even larger W pattern at the low of the day level, all right? Notice that all of the price action that is beneath the previous day's um, low of the day level is engulfed, okay? That means that all of those traders that shorted under the previous day's low of the day level, when other time frame sellers were triggered into the market, everyone who shorted under that level is now trapped in that trade, in that position. They are the sucker today, okay? Their account is being drained, all right? This is a trade set up with other time frame sellers trapped in the market, and it is exploding to the other side of the range to eat away at their account. And you can see that we could have entered on that one minute pattern, right? That is on its way of, to forming this, right? Now let's zoom out and see how the rest of this day traded. So here we've zoomed out on the five minute chart so we can inspect price action, you know, a bigger, bigger picture. We can see where we were at the low of the day where that trade took place and you can see price explodes through the current high of the day level. Why? Because that is where these other time frame sellers have their stop loss, all right? And if you look all the way to the left, that is the breakout to the downside from the high of the day. 
So this day, this was an opportunity to hold until close with this smart money setup, right? And it traded back into the original breakout to the downside. Right? It went straight back up in there to stop out traders, right? Smart money is taking money, right? And these are the things that you can start to look for on a daily basis, right? You can see that other time frame traders are triggered into this market as soon as it breaks through the low of the previous day, right? So we know that we have other time frame sellers in the market selling this market, right? Now, when New York opens and we're trading into the low of the day and we get our initial W pattern, we're on the lookout for an entry to trade alongside of smart money for this potential buy low opportunity. And how do we know that we're looking for a buy low opportunity on the day? Because when we come to the New York session, we're trading into the low of the day, the low of the week so far, right? And we see other time frame traders have been triggered into the market and at the low of the day, right when New York opens, within that first hour, we get an engulfment. And that engulfment, okay, is really an entrapment. That engulfment is what is trapping traders at that level, okay? They've shorted into the low of the day and then they've been completely engulfed meaning the market has immediately went against their position, okay? Immediately, they sold the bottom, okay? These are retail traders going by whatever rules they go by and new traders, right, who feel like it's right to sell a market because it's going down, right? Because it's broken out of the low of the day level, it feels wrong to buy a market that's been falling so far. You know what I mean? So these are new traders that have the uncanny ability to sell bottoms and buy tops, all right. These are the suckers, unfortunately. That's just the way the game is played, right? And so you can start to identify the sucker. Okay. And if you can do that, you can avoid being a sucker. And you can trade alongside of smart money when these opportunities present. And remember, we only want to trade the best setups. We only want to trade when these things are obvious to us, you understand? When these trades are obvious, they just jump out on the chart. Those are the setups that we want to trade, right? Anyway, man, I hope that y'all got something out of this video. We will continue to go through this over and over and over again on different markets. We'll look at different time frames because these setups, they don't just happen on the day, okay? They happen on the week, they happen on the month, they happen on the quarter, they happen on the year. You can find these setups on, on any time frame, right? This is just a good example from recently of price giving an opportunity to buy low and it pops off from one extreme to the other. So we went from the low of the day straight to the high of the day. Okay, with no heat, no stress. If you got into this market, if you bought, right, if you bought anywhere below the the low of the of yesterday, you were basically okay, right. But if you got in down there, you locked in a nice profit on the day because listen, we're not holding this forever, right? We're day traders. We get out of the market before the day closes. Okay. So this was a beautiful New York session opportunity. These trades happen all the time, continuously in different markets. If you are, uh, if you know what you're looking for and you're searching through your basket of instruments, you will find these trade setups very often. All right. Until next time, man, I hope you continue to free your mind.